Hello everyone and welcome back to Sturtwinds. Today I'm bringing you another Borderlands 2 video. This time is on a guide pretty much how to bring out the new hidden um, invincible raid boss called Dexy Dridius or I can't bloody pronounce his name. Something the invincible he is a giant marsh creature. You'll see him very shortly. First things first, what you need to do is find all of these iridium totems and light them up. I'm going to give you a rough idea on where they are. They're all in Hunter's Grotto. You will have two at one side of the map and two at the other side of the map. I'm going to show you roughly where you need to go. So you see the first one. Um, just a second ago. The second one is sort of underneath a cave. When you get to the area where I'll just show you, you have to sort of fall down into like a little river and you can climb up and then you'll see the second one. There's rough location on the map. You will have to do a little bit of searching yourself, but you mark my words, it is there. Um, then the third one I'll bring to you very shortly. Well, it's going to come out right now. Um, this one's right on the right at the very edge of the map, sort of towards the sea. You probably would have been this area already to do one of the side missions. It does going to it is going to take a lot of iridium. Um, as you can see, it takes about 25 per totem pole but there's the location of that one I am probably going to do a separate video that shows you the location in a little bit more detail to make it easier for you to find them um, after you've lit all four which this is the last one here this one's a little bit tricky um, you can't get to it from the bottom you have to go round the back um, go up a giant lift and on top but then just head towards the end of the cliff and then you'll find it it's not a problem I'll show you on the map now exactly where that is so as you can see there, so you, you'll see down the bottom left hand corner like a car and like a really thin alleyway. You go through there and there's a lift to go up the top and head over towards where I was standing and you won't be able, you won't miss it, you can't miss it. Then you pull that little um, lever and then you'll kill several rounds of these savages. So don't think he's not going to spawn because he will. Um, I don't know if you can really see too well but there's, see the fire torches there? You'll find four of them lit and when four of them are lit then he's good to spawn. And then you'll see him here the big monstrosity that he is. Um, killing him is a little bit of a mission because you've got to figure out how to kill him. Um, the best way I've found is like he'll spawn these little white spots all around his body and once you spawn these white spots to shoot them quite simply blow them up and then that's what causes the damage but you're going to have to use different elements to to encourage him to bring out these white spots. We found using all of the different elements corrosive I know electric, slag, all of that sort of stuff will encourage him to bring out the white spots so he can shoot him. We obviously was, this is the very first time that I brought him out so I didn't know really what we was doing. So it is quite a long fight when really it could have been made a lot shorter. But I just this, I just wanted to get it on YouTube is for you guys to see that there is a hidden invincible boss. You know, like I say, please like comment and subscribe to my channel for plenty more Borderlands 2 videos um, I will be doing more playthroughs and walkthroughs I'm also going to be trying to do a, a let's play series where we can go through people's um, like uh, missions, side missions and so on and so forth so that they can then give the chance to give their views and opinions on the game and what they think of the new DLC I'm a little bit disappointed because of the, because of the length it feels maybe like the Time and effort's been put more into the Invincible bosses than it has the actual campaign and side missions itself. I don't know. I was a little bit annoyed because of the compatibility fuck up, but that is now fixed. I just want to let you guys know. Also, duping weapons is a little bit of a problem at the moment as well. One of my friends duped a weapon and his character got deleted. So I don't know whether or not it's wise to be doing any duping until a patch is released. Um... So all the people that I've promised to give dupes to, I will still do it, but I just need to wait. I don't want my character to be deleted because I will lose all of my weapons, I'll lose everything. So I just want to let you guys know about that before I go ahead and dupe anything. So I'm not trying to be, I'm not being an arse or anything like that, I'm not ignoring you. You know, I do get a lot of messages, I'm trying my best to keep everyone together and, you know, help everyone as much as I can. But like I say... Speak to my other subscribers, speak to each other, help each other out because a lot of you have already got these weapons. So it'd be handy if you could just give us a hand and you know help out because I do play with my subscribers on a daily basis. Um, back to the fight. I found that 
using other, like I say, using different elements will encourage him to bring out these white spots. And obviously, shooting the white spots causes him all the damage. I tried everything: shooting him in the legs, in the mouth, everywhere in the ass, in the head, whatever. I shot him everywhere. So then I started chucking grenades at him. So using explosives and all those type of things will encourage him to bring out more white spots. And as soon as the white spots appear, shoot him, and that's what causes him the most damage. So that's why it is fairly lengthy fight because we was like I say in my first attempt we was just trying to figure out the best ways to do it. And I will like I say be bringing you more clearer, better videos showing you how to do this quicker. Because the four totem poles, if you're gonna be doing it by yourself, you're gonna be doing a hell of a lot of running around, I can tell you that much. The best thing to do probably is to get into a party of four, send someone off to each of the totem poles and light it at the same time and then meet in the middle to to pull the lever and then go from there. It'll probably be a lot quicker that way. It's still going to take time. So farming this guy is going to be a complete pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie, but it is. But at least they brought in a boss that is going to... It is a, it is a real challenge to kill him. Because you have to decide what element you're going to use at him at what time to get the white spots to spawn. As you can see, he hasn't spawned the white spot for ages. And we ain't doing no damage shooting him. I am using the KSS glitch. Because I wanted to do it fast enough so that this video wasn't four and a half hours long. Okay, so forgive me for that. Um, there are obviously other videos on my YouTube channel, like for the other Invincible bosses from Doctor um, Doctor Sir Hamlock's Big Game Hunt. So check them out as well. Like I say, please like, comment, and subscribe to this video and my channel for more information about Borderlands. I've got plenty more videos on how to do KSS glitch, unlimited vault glitch, and all those type of things. Um, there's a Let's Play series on there. I've only done three so far, but it's just got my subscribers letting letting us know the community of Borderlands what they think are good ideas for for the game. So that is that's that. But I'm just glad they brought in a boss that even with a KSS glitch it's gonna be really difficult to kill him. It's not just gonna be a roll in there, shoot him three or four times with an overpowered gun loot him and then run off and do it again it's not like that at all this guy you have to actually work to get him to spawn it's not just going to be an easy spawn so yeah it's pretty good i am enjoying it apart from the the length of it wasn't long enough for my for my liking at all i was hoping it would be longer but this is the time when i start chucking grenades at him and then i notice that my grenades actually doing damage to him and I think the more damage you do to him with your elements, like this one was electric, the more chance you've got of him spawning his little white spots and stuff. And also he does drop a weapon that is new to the game. And I will showcase that at the end of the game. As you can see he's nearly dead now. He's going to spawn like a spot on the back of his head and I'm just going to blast away at him. And there it is. And then he goes down. Well, we go. He does go down eventually. One more spot, there we go, on the one on the back of his head. And then he's dead. Um, he drops a hell of a lot of loot to be totally honest with you. can see it all fall to the floor just there. So we're going to run round, run round, and I'm going to show you the new weapon. He doesn't, I don't know if he's got any preset drops or anything like that. He drops loads of relics, he drops all sorts of stuff. It's, it's crazy. Iridium, obviously, because you need iridium. Lots of it as well. But I'll show you the new gun in a moment. But I just want to say at this point, thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Like I say, leave any comments if you think this video can be improved. You know, I ain't got any problem with constructive criticism whatsoever. It will be handy if you could. Because making these videos from from your first attempts is always quite difficult. Especially when you don't know what you're doing against the boss. You know, So there's a lot of people quick to criticise. But I don't mind if you can just say, look, maybe you should have done this. Fine. Much appreciated. But here is the um, the new gun. I'll show you what it is. It's like um, it's a Torg weapon. It's like the Shredder Fire. It's a blue one, but it's the, it is one of the new ones. I think it's called the Chopper or something like that. But I just want to bring bring you guys, show you guys that this gun does exist. So I did say that I'd bring them to you and show you them. Here it is. Not this one. That's not very good. Here it is. This one here. Anything with red prefix is a new gun, basically, in this DLC. So it's pretty good. It's got a massive magazine size. But yeah, so that's that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Um, and I shall see you guys again soon. Take care and goodbye.